Come on, Loz. I know, I know. You have little faith. <laughs> Edged and out. Laurie Culliver puts the mockers on Smith, and he's back to the sheds without scoring. Full of... Full from Paris, flicked away. For four runs, that'll be in a good way for Hunt. Edges through the slips. That'll run off to, down to the boundary for four. Yeah, nice soft hands from Henry Hunt. and Full ball again, driven beautifully down the ground for four. Great shot, Daniel Drew. Indeed, saw it and hit it nicely. Back past the ball, up down to the boundary. So. It's going to be a fascinating 19 minutes here before the break. Short one court. He pulls it straight to mid on. Drew goes. He didn't quite get onto it, but it was a really sharp catch. Is that out? It is out. Big breakthrough on the stroke of lunch. Pushing forward. Cameron Bancroft takes the catch at short leg. And a third wicket down for the South Australians. Yeah, three for 62 now. Let's have another look at it. Half volley moved into that nicely. Mid-off's quite wide there, Hilton Cartwright, and he wasn't able to work to do Edge, and oh, what a blinder! Second slip. An absolute blinder, parallel with the ground. One hand chucked out the left. Cameron Bancroft has taken a belter. Around the wicket, and bowled him! Straight through. Another wicket goes down. WA on a roll. Full and straight. Flicked off the legs. And this will run away for four. A little race away for four, won't it? Just a bit full and straight from Hardy and McSweeney. We've talked about him being in good form this year. And, and he's edged it through that third slip region. This will run away for four. Take Nielsen's score to nine. You know, Sweeps it, and that's a good shot from Nielsen. That'll rock it into the fence. That's a lovely sweep shot. Well, where you come to that conclusion. Stam rocks back and splits the field as he'll get another boundary. Will Nielsen, and he's starting to look really good, isn't he? Edged and taken by Philippi. It was low down. But he got the gloves underneath it. Another wicket falls for South Australia. And WA march on. Six for 103 now, South Australia. Well. Full ball driven through point. Menetti's off the mark. And it should have enough power to get to the rope. And it does. A boundary to Ben Menetti. No, he's uh, one of the highlights of the batting lineup this season, that's for sure wide from Paris and Manetti just helps himself to a boundary smashes that through cover through point four just lent on that a little did McSweeney full and driven nicely by McSweeney racing away to the boundary but there's some pretty quick cover coming to stop it if they won't make it four runs to McSweeney right. Short pulled, call of catch it, and a great catch in the outfield. Western, Western Australia pick up another wicket. South Australia now 7 for 132. It was the replacement out there, the 12th man, Charlie Stobo, who took a cracking catch out there in the deep. Yeah. With only two men allowed behind square on the leg side, Gus. That one's been skied to that man you were just talking about. It's out. Looks to be Ashton Turner who's taken the catch, and Haskett gets another one. Have a one day, yeah? Although, I'll just give you something in a moment. Driven through, cover four runs. Good shot from McAndrew. Two in the end, that one, which was good. Short ball, leg stump, and helped around the corner for another boundary to McAndrew in this over. I'm happy to hand the ball to a growing boy like yourself. Big shout here for Paris. It is his 10th wicket of the match. Joel Paris snicks Conway behind, and that will be the end of the game. Match is coming up in about five weeks. Edges, and what a take there in the gully. That was a one-handed snatch. Wow, we Agar will go. That will end the match. And it was the man, Charlie Stobo, the 12th man, who picked that up off the grass. 
millimeters away. Well, what a take that was.